Today we're going to talk about using DAX iterator functions to create measures in Power BI. And these are a special function that performs a row by row operation instead of aggregating for the whole column. So the difference between normal aggregation functions and these iterator functions is that you can do more inside the function itself where normal aggregations just perform on one column. And this allows for more flexible and tailored calc, reduced need for calculated columns and more versatile data analysis directly in Power BI. I have some examples of the measures we're going to be building today. So the first is I have a sum of sales, that's a normal function. And then I have a total cost, which is my sum x iterator function. That is not in the model, so that's a calculated measure in here. So we've got count of all of sales next, and then the iterator function is a count of all sales over 100, a min of all sales next, and then a min of all positive sales, and then an average sales and an average cost. So we're going to get going in here in something called DAX query view, and this is a great place to make your measures. Now, it looks a little bit scary at the start, but it's fine once you just wrap your define and evaluate functions, you can just start adding measures in here. And this is just a normal measure, which is the sum of the sales column. If you can't see this DAX query view, go to file, go down to options, choose your options, and then you want to choose preview features. And then within preview features, you'll see that DAX query view in here, and that will pull it up. So the measure I'm defining here is a calculation sales normal aggregation function. And that's just a sum of sales and dollars. I'm going to copy and paste this just for ease of use. And I'm going to make my iterator function now. And my iterator function is total cost. So with total cost, I'm going to create a sum x. So sum x means I can just do a calculation on the row level. So a sum x, and the first thing we want to do with iterator functions is choose the table the function is going to come from. So I have everything in this high V data table. And in the high V data table, I want to choose my row level sale, which is sale dollars. And then from that, I want to do a calculation just to take away my profit. And this will give me my cost. As I said before, there is no cost in the model. So this essentially lets us to have cost in the model as an aggregation. And to test this out, I want to evaluate this over summarize columns. So what I need to do is I need to take that out into my summarize columns. So I'm going to name this and then I'm going to pull the column in that I've just created. This isn't in the data model yet. If you want to put it in the data model, you can just do update column. I'm just going to clean both of these up because I want the sales I've created from my calc table and I'm going to run this. And now I see that I've put profit in here instead of cost. So I'm just going to change the name of this to cost. And now I can see that I've got sales and then I have cost, which is my iterator function. And to test this over a category, you can just put the category above. So I've got a vendor name in this data model, and I'm just going to put another apostrophe here, run this, and then I have my sales and cost over the vendor name. So the next one I'm going to do is a count of rows. So I can just count any row in there for that. Then I want to do a count of rows where sales is over $100. So an if statement here taking the high V table where sales and dollars is over 100. I'm going to put one where it's not. I'm going to put blank. So I can see that uh, for that first line, I've got 316,000 of sales, but only 128,000 where I'm over $100. The next one is a min. I want to do a min sale of all my sales. And these are all coming up negative. So I know that there's some credit notes in here. So I'm going to use a min X to get rid of those credit notes. And I need to do that on a line basis. So another if function here, if sales dollars is over zero, I'm putting this as blank, but sorry, under zero, I'm putting it as blank. But if it's over zero, give me my sale in dollars. And what this will do is this will give me a min sale where the sale is positive. And then the final function I have in here is the same as the first one. It's just an average of the sale in dollars. And then with the average X, I'm doing an average cost by just taking the sale in dollars minus the profit, and then that'll aggregate that up to the average cost. So what this looks like, um, as we saw at the start, I can run through categories here, and this will calculate all my measures on, on the fly. So really flexible. You can see it can be used in all different sorts of visualizations. So really powerful functionality we've gone over today, iterator functions. I hope you found this video useful. Please follow for more Power BI data analytics videos.